Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and here are all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in May. <laughs> So I cannot believe it. It is almost May. I feel like I just made my April TBR video. <laughs> like, it's crazy. This month is very eventful for me because the end of term is in May. Like, 4th of May is my last day. So I'm very excited. Because of school ending, I have so many books that I want to be reading that month. Because I have the whole month of May off and then summer school starts for a whole another month right after that so i'm gonna jam pack as many books as possible into this month so i'm gonna dive right into the books that i want to read first we're gonna start out with my tbr jar pick i try to pick a book out of this jar every single month and do a dedicated reading vlog for it on my channel i have two videos out already that i did for this video i do have my march book in this TBR video later on um, just because I didn't get to it in time and because school is winding down we're having a lot of projects to a bunch of exams and a bunch of homework and so I just I didn't get around to it plus the audiobook wait for it was quite a long time so I won't be getting it to it until May um, so I really wanted to listen to the audiobook for it so you might get two TBR jar dedicated reading vlogs in the month of May so look forward to that so let me pick the book for this month okay let's go with one of those let's do this one okay this one is Inside Out by Leah Riley, Inside Out by Leah Riley. Let me go find that book. Okay, I just realized something. I forgot I made a rule for myself for this jar. If I picked a book that was the sequel to another book that I hadn't read yet, like if I hadn't read the first book yet, I have to read the first book. And then I just put the second book back in the jar, if that makes sense. Um, and so the first book in this series is Upside Down. And I've actually read this book, but it's been four four years since i've read this and i legit know nothing i have a bunch of tabbies here if you don't know my system with tabbies i basically only tab the kissing or <laughs> love parts i am a sucker for those and i tab them because i love to go and reread those specific parts so that's why i tab them <laughs> those are the like only tabs that i do in my books and all i remember about this one is that i believe our heroine is uh studying abroad in australia and she meets a hunky surfer dude who lives in Australia. For the next six months, she'll act like a carefree exchange student to escape painful memories, okay? She meets brooding surfer, Bran Lockhart. This, set, this is set in Melbourne. Melbourne? 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> Which one's right? I don't know. <laughs> it's about him um, getting past all of his defenses with uh, a California girl named Natalia. So uh, I believe this is a new adult, she's 21. Um, so I legit remember nothing about this book. And Jennifer L. Armitrout blurbed it on the top. She said, romantic and poignant, the journey of love and acceptance lingers long after the book is closed. Um, so I remember nothing about this book. So this is the book that I'm gonna be picking because Inside Out, I believe is the, the last book in the trilogy. Cause I think it's a trilogy about all three characters because if you look in the front there are the other two i have the other two i bought all three at the same time back when i used to shop at the book service that shall not be named anymore <laughs> yeah i have all three of them and so i picked book number three so i'm going to be reading book number one for my dedicated reading vlog so i'm actually very excited to read this i've been wanting to reread this so that i could get to books number two and three so yeah, I'm really excited about this pick. So every month, if you didn't know, I have another goal for myself to buddy read a book with somebody each month. I love buddy reading books with my friends. I, I love it so much. And so I'm currently reading Just a Heartbeat Away by Cara Bastone and I am obsessed with it. I'm almost 50% of the way through it. And I got this recommendation from Ashley from Ash Heart Books, but she's already read book number two. Um, and I wanted to read book number two in May. So I reached out to my friend Zave over at Woody Reads I buddy, read, I buddy read a book with her a couple months ago and I love doing it and she hadn't read book two yet and so we're going to be reading book number two together and book number two is called Can't Help Falling, book number two in the Forever Yours series by Cara Bastown. I'm not going to read the summary because I don't want to spoil myself but I know it's a romance between the two, two people that we met um, in this book that I'm currently reading right now. 
Um, so I'm very excited and I love buddy reading with Zay so much. I am in love with the first book currently, so I can't wait. Okay, we're gonna have a couple repeats from last month because again, with school winding down and everything being crazy with assignments and everything, I hadn't gotten to a few books. I really wanna read The Savior by J.R. Ward. This is book number 17 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is a vampire romance series dealing with mates and everything. Each book is about a different mate. I really love to be caught up with the series and The Savior is the next book in that series for me to read. Um, I finished the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole last month and I really want to get like the Black Tiger Brotherhood done as well. I feel like that's gonna be a major accomplishment for me. Hopefully I can get it done by the end of 2021. I feel like I can do it. So I am hopefully definitely going to be reading this book in um, May. Then as I said before I have to read Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I picked this book out as my April TBR jar pick to do a dedicated reading vlog for and again the audiobook is on a wait list that I won't get until May um, and I really want to listen to this audio. I've heard great things about the audio. Yeah I'm really looking forward to this. This is a young adult fantasy uh, book that I really enjoy the world of. I believe it's it takes place in the same world as An Enchantment of Ravens, which was Margaret Rogerson's first book, I believe. Um, and this one has to do with the Magic Library. And I am super excited. And I also have heard that a lot of my taller friends love this book because like our heroine is notoriously known for being very tall. And they talk about that a lot. And they don't see that a lot in books. So I love that. I love seeing um, more representation out there in the world. I have heard nothing but great things about it and I definitely want to read it so I'm I'm gonna be reading it in the month of May. <laughs> Next we have Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. I am making my way through Tessa Dare's backlist and I'm currently working on her Spindle Cove series. This is book number four in the Spindle Cove series. I always go into these books blind so I'm not reading the summary for this one. I have been going in blind for the all of the Spindle Cove books and I have been loving them. Love them. I think all of them have gotten four stars for me except for book number one and so I'm I'm, I'm super excited. I've been loving these couples. I've been reading like one-ish a month and I, I just love it. I love it so much. So I can't wait to dive into this one. Next we have two Christina Lauren books that I want to get to. I want to complete the Beautiful Bastard series all freaking ready. The last book in the series is called Beautiful. I know nothing about this book. I'm not going to know anything about this book. I'm not going to read the summary or anything because it is the last book in the series. I want to go in blind. I love this series. I don't know why people don't. I I love it. I love it. I, I am obsessed with this series. They're just super fun and entertaining to read. I love them. I want Christina Lauren to go back and write those kinds of books because I love them. I love them so much. I think the next book that I'm talking about is called Dirty Rowdy Thing um, by Christina Lauren. This is the next book in the uh, Sweet Filthy Boy series. Uh, that was the first book, Sweet Filthy Boy. Um, and I believe this has to do with one of the characters the, one of the couples we met in the first book. So the first book is all about three girlfriends and three guy friends and they end up like coming across each other at a bar in Las Vegas. And all of them I believe have one night stands and get married drunkenly that night. The couple from the first book they don't get annulled. You read about their book their story in the first book. The other two couples both of them get an annulment of their marriage. Um, but I guess this is about like them like actually liking one another though like seeing each other afterward and everything i'm really excited i'm going into both of these books completely blind because i like to be surprised by christina lauren I, I just do i also don't like setting my expectations too high when it comes to their books because that has happened for me in the past and i have been let down so i'd rather just go in blind than know anything at all because my expectations might get crushed. <laughs> Next we have two Ruby Dixon books that I want to get to. We have A Fire in Her Dreams which is her most current release a part of the Fireblood Dragon series. If you didn't know about this series, this series revolves around dragon shifters and they're also aliens. So basically this place takes place on Earth. Years ago a rift opened up in the sky and dragons started flying onto earth decimating the world. Um, there are only a few survivors of humans here and there in little camps. Little do these humans know that these dragons can actually like shift into humanoid forms, like they have human forms, um, and they are able to find their one true lifelong mate. And so each book is about a dragon shifter finding their human mate. I find this series super entertaining, uh, just as entertaining as the Ice Planet Barbarian series for me. I, I love that series so much. Uh, and this one is just, as entertaining for me. I'm obsessed with it. I personally don't know anything about this book specifically. It came out last month or the month before that. This is the only book I have left to read in that series and then I am all cut up which I'm super excited for. The cover is just amazing to me. I love it and I think there's only one more book in this series that she's going to be writing and then she's done with this series so 
sad i'm sad a bunch of ruby dixon like series are coming to a close like what else is she gonna do y'all like what's gonna happen and then i have when she belongs by ruby dixon which is i believe book number four or book number five in the risdiverse series alien romance series in this series like each book is centered around a woman who was uh enslaved by people who kidnapped them from earth and they ended up escaping and the ruler of this planet ends up marrying one of those human women and then gifting other women a farmland on his planet um so they can have secluded independent lives away from slave traders and everything but a bunch of them are trying to fight for their farm because other alien male aliens are wanting to take it from them for their own lands and to hurt the women specifically and so so far that i've read each book is about one of those human women trying to find a husband so that uh they can offer her, her protection um so i don't know if that plot still goes on after book three i think i'm on book three i think that's the one i'm reading um i don't know if that goes beyond book three um but yeah uh i don't know anything about this one like i said for many other books um i go into these books completely blind the one that i'm currently reading right now is super funny i'm reading when she purrs at the moment and that one's with her with the a human woman and a praxian alien and if you you, you don't read ruby Dixon books you don't know what that means but i'm really excited because i believe it's the same alien that was in willow's beast from ice home again if you don't know ruby Dixon books you have no idea what i'm talking about but i am super excited for this <laughs> okay everyone it is shout out time we're gonna take a break from the video for a second to shout out somebody from my shout out mug if you didn't know i put every single booktuber that i'm subscribed to in this mug whether they're big or small and i shout out everybody no matter if you're big or small um so let's pick out one to choose let's do this one let's see who this is my goodness it is ooh. Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers. I love Lacey so much. Uh, she, I feel like, reads so many different things and she reads so much. Also, if, if you couldn't tell, she's a romance reader. Romance reader. Reads so many romance books. She is super fast. She reads a lot in a month and I love that. <laughs> um, and she reads, again, like a wide range of things. I feel like on Goodreads, she is the friend that I have on Goodreads that has read so many of the books that I'm interested in. I'll go to click on a book that I, I'm thinking about reading and Lacey's already read it. <laughs> Lacey has a review or a rating. I'm like, thanks Lacey for reading so many things so that I can have <laughs> another opinion on whether I should read this book or not. And I love that so much. She just came out with a Mafia, I think. No, it's not Mafia. I'm horrible. I don't have a good memory. Um, but she has come out with a Mafia romance rec video. I think she just came out with like a steamy rec video. I'm horrible. I have a horrible memory, if you couldn't tell. If you have not checked out Lacey, uh, you probably should have already. Um, but if you haven't, please do. I love her so, so much. I'm also trying to read a bunch of Grace Draven backlist. I absolutely adore Grace Draven, if you couldn't tell. There's, there, there are some of her books. <laughs> um, so the next book that I want to read by her is called Wyvern, which I believe is also a dragon shifter romance. Um, this one is only... 88 pages so it's pretty short i want to read the summary for this one elizabeth weaver a talented fiddler gave up the man she loved to care for her ailing grandfather now eight years later she must risk her life to save her grandfather from a lynching by playing for the wyvern that has terrorized her village throughout the summer when she comes face to face with the beast at the haunted cliffs of maldoza she is both terrified and fascinated something about the creature reminds her of her long lost lover something more than just a shared name. Alaric has never forgotten nor stopped loving the human woman he left in a dusty village almost a decade earlier. When he meets her again on the cliffs, wearing old dragon armor and playing her fiddle as if her heart would break, he is overjoyed. But Elsbeth never knew the man to whom she had given herself was only an illusion for the wyvern. Alaric must convince her that the heart of the beast is no less devoted than the heart of the man, and that leaving her a second time will not last another decade. I'm really excited for this. I love Dragon Shifters and I haven't read a lot of different authors besides Ruby Dixon and one other <laughs> one other author. Um, I love reading Dragon Shifter series. Uh, so I'm excited to read kind of like a standalone Dragon Shifter book because there's not, I don't think, um, any other books that Ruby Dixon has written that deal with Dragon Shifters. So 
again, very excited, looking forward to this one. I'm also trying to read all of Talia Hibbert's backlist, and so I am going to be reading Bad for the Boss, book number one in the Just For Him series by Talia Hibbert. Uh, this was written in 2017. It does not have the best ratings. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Um, but I nonetheless want to read all of her books. I read The Princess Trap by her, which I think maybe was her first like published full length novel, if I'm not mistaken. And that wasn't my favorite thing, unfortunately. So I hope I really like this one though, because I love her books so much. This book is about Theodore. Um, and he is very known for the boardroom and the bedroom. He is an anti-social millionaire and has never mixed business with pleasure before. Ooh, and he falls for one of his new employees named Jennifer. This is a romance between Jennifer and Theodore, um, and it is a boss-employee relationship and the dynamic between that whole thing um because that's obviously forbidden so very interested i hope that this was good um some of my friends have given it given it pretty good ratings um but the average rating is a 3.5 <laughs> which it's gonna be okay i'm gonna read it hopefully it's good <laughs> so i went to half price books the other day and i only bought one book and it was this one and it is I love it. It is gorgeous. Like, this is all raised and I, I love it. It's called Lie Down in Roses by Shannon Drake. This is her most gloriously passionate novel. Like, look how beautiful that is. It has yellowish pages. I think that's from age and not from staining. I don't know. I don't know. Lady Genevieve, proud and beautiful, she vowed to save the castle of Edinby through a single dangerous act of passion by offering her hand in marriage to the invading enemy she despised. Lord Tristan, one of England's most fearsome knights, he realized the lady was plotting his death, and yet, faced with her enchanting beauty and fiery spirit, he knew he must possess her at any cost. Theirs was a destiny of love and war, passion and intrigue, torn by the raging fury of a turbulent age and the searing desires of their own hearts, the lady and the knight dared to embrace the most treacherous love of all. That sounds so stinking good so good and i didn't get to get to the historical romance that i had on my tbr last month for my physical tbr and just like this one sounds so good and i feel like i could like fly through it again it doesn't have the best rating on on goodreads but also doesn't have all that many ratings on goodreads and that just sounds like recipe for amazing time like this book like the summary i am super excited for this and like also it's it's so pretty and shiny to look at. I love it. Okay, so we have a few Kindle Unlimited books that I want to get to that have been on my shelf for a little bit. First, we have Half-Breed Conqueror by Luna Hunter. This is an alien romance. Who is surprised? Not me. Probably not you. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to find like more alien romance books that I love because the few that I've read that weren't Ruby Nixon have been duds. Like, duds for me. This is the first book in the Made It to the Monster series. I am a caged beast bred for war. My captors force me to fight for my life day in day out to hone my skills. Pain, war, and death are all I know. And then Amy's drops into my cell. The most beautiful creature I have ever seen. Long dark hair, big eyes, and a curvy body I want to sink my fangs into. My captors tell me I must mate with the human female and impregnate her within the next seven days or they will kill her. There's nothing more I would like to do than say my urges with this female, but there's one problem. She is terrified of me. I cannot and will not mate with a female against her will, but I cannot let my captors kill her either. Every second she is in my presence, my animalistic urges grow harder and harder to resist, but I am determined to prove that despite everything, I am no animal. If I can convince Amy to come willingly, then perhaps I can save her. And myself. That sounds so good. Like, so good. If this does not turn out to be a good book, I'm going to be sad because I want alien romance books to love. Like, I love Ruby Dixon. It's like, I want that. And I really hope that that's this one. I've also been reading the, I think they're called Burly Men, Bigger Men series by uh, Jessica Kane. They have nothing to do with one another at all. Um, but I've been loving the ones that I have been reading there in this series. Um, and so I wanted to go back and read the first one, and I believe it's called Husky. Um, I think that's the first one. This takes place in New York City, and Parker is designing a new line for menwear, but none of the slim male models are inspiring her. And then she finds Dawes, 
and he's nothing like the men in the fashion world. He's huge, he's thick, and he's husky. I'm very excited. I love Jessica's like husky men books. Um, I think people most of the time love a hefty the most, which is the one that I've loved the most. Um, no, I've loved king size the most. Never mind. King size was good. But I, both of those are my favorite. I really hope this one lives up to the other two that I've read. The last book that I want to read, a part of Kindle Unlimited, um, is Our Totally Ridiculous Made Up Christmas Relationship by Brittany C. Cherry. Um, a long, long, long title. Um, but this is just a uh, Christmas romance that Brittany C. Cherry has written. I'm trying to read more Brittany C. Cherry books because I love her writing so much. And so uh, I saw this one on there and I haven't heard anybody talk about this one. So I wanted to dive in and hopefully this is one I will like as well. I'm fine with reading Christmas books not during Christmas season. Season, so another book I'm very much looking forward to. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in May. I think I'll maybe hopefully get to all of them because I'll have so much free time in the one month that I'm not in school. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or if you want to buddy read any of these books with me in May. I'd love, love, love to chat with you. Um, you can mostly reach me through Instagram through DMing me on there. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye! Thank you.